Jim Green. Got this in the mail today. The Jim Green Razorback Boot. I heard good things about this company here. Apparently, due to shipping and tariffs and exchange rate, etc., these boots turn out to be a pretty darn affordable and high quality boot. Essentially, from what I understand, you are getting a $200 pair of boots for about $130, $140, depending on if you're using any kind of discount code or coupon. Um, first impressions here, I really dig the two stickers. The Frogman is awesome. Totally dig that. Yeah, bunch of literature, fun stuff I could read, but I think anybody can just read that for themselves. So right now what I'm gonna do is basically give you guys my first impression of these boots here as not a cobbler, but <laughs> as a tradesman, someone who's gonna use these boots for what they're designed for to put them through the ringer, as they say. Do I want to really start to lace these? Huh? I don't know if I want to embark on a journey quite that extensive this afternoon. In the meantime, we'll just give them the old lazy lace and let them hang for a little bit. Okay. So immediately, right off the bat, I've noticed that this, this upper interior leather portion is soft, wicked soft, almost like the calfskin gloves that you get from uh, those big box stores. Okay, whew. <laughs> I was freaking out. On the inside, they have it marked 10 and a half on both sides. I ordered an 11 and a half, and I had to remind myself that in the UK size, this must be a 10 and a half, and all is well. Um, yeah, like I said, this this feels like a really soft, rugged leather. Something I would, I surely wouldn't mind uh, uh, rubbing up on my ankles. The the tongue has a bit of padding, very squishy like. It almost reminds me of like the old school DC shoes you used to get in the 2000s and late 90s, back in my heyday when I was in school. Um, let's see. The tongue design on here is really interesting. It's just a solid piece of leather that goes straight through and this folds over as you lace it. Now I think in, in my personal profession, I, I'm a tree climber and uh, a sawyer. Oftentimes, as I'm performing my work, sawdust will get in the, my pockets, in my boots, uh, on the inside, of course, but right here is where I notice it accumulates, is right here in kind of like this little pocket region. And I'll just build up this like little bubble and, uh, of sawdust and debris, and next thing you know, I have a, a bit of a blister. So, with this sh pair of shoes, I'm not certain, but uh, it seems like that might limit that kind of an action. Um, I really like how it's really clean looking here with the stitching to the sole, just very cool. And in a very wide toe box as well. I can appreciate that. I have some wide, wide feet. Um, Vibram, oh, no, I, not a Vibram, but it's the Jim Green sole. 
It kind of looks like the Vibram Soul. Almost had, threw me for a loop with this little yellow marker. Um, seems like it's resolable. An easy lace. I think I'm just going to go through one boot and do the lacing. A little trick while we're here. I learned that if you take your laces and put them from the outside in, they hold the, uh, they kind of get a little bit of friction going on there. Well, it captures your progress as you go. And so when you tighten your boot as you're lacing up, it you don't have to cons constantly re-pull on these things. And I'll leave the rest for the speed lace. Nice. Oh my goodness. This is just going to be super fantastic. Um, I can't tell you guys how excited I am. I've actually had to avoid getting leather boots altogether um, because of my wide feet. I, I have such a, a wide toe section that I'm always rubbing on the outside here and on the outside here. And I'll have to compensate for my width. I'll get extra, extra wide and have to get a couple sizes up. So I'm swimming up here, but tight right here. So uh, I'm hoping that this boot will treat me well. For example, this style of shoe is almost the only kind of shoe I can do because it allows the, this loose construction allows for this, this toe over here just to come way over there and just really splay out my toes. I've gotten Ariat's uh, wides with the extra wide square box toe. I've uh, even had to get a, a pair of Red Wings steel toe for this position in particular that I worked. It was a requirement and that was a first for me. So I went to Red Wing and I, I asked them, I'm like, okay, well, what's the widest steel toe cap boot you have and uh, basically the way they explain it to me is the caps are the same size be it if you got 11 11 and a half or an 11 and a half double wide uh so an 11 is 11 a 12 is a 12 when it comes to the cap so i had to upgrade and upgrade and upgrade before i knew it i was at a size 13 boot in order to fit in my wide my, my my toes which would otherwise fit in a, an 11. I made this boot work for about four months and my feet were killing me so at any rate th that's what I'm hoping will will not happen in this case of course it's not a steel toe it's a soft toe but it's got this wide toe box section and I just think that's super pivotal. If any of you guys are having knee problems, back problems, or if you're runners, I would highly recommend looking into a company called Ultras, where they showcase a, a neutral shoe with no heel, where the, the heel and the ball of the foot, excuse me, the heel and the ball of the foot are at the same position. Um, but they their biggest thing is also is they, they, they feature a really wide toe box. So, when I seen that these guys were uh, pr producing a very high value boot with a wide toe box and they had a coupon on there, I just couldn't resist. So one last thing to note, it's a leather bottom right here, removable. That's really cool. And it seems like they have like a whole le leather layer on the interior and they're utilizing a whole extra piece of leather for that uh, heel cap.
to make sure that you're not going to be running into that. But anyways, I'm running out of terminology. I'm quickly looking like I don't know what I'm talking about. So I hope this review uh, slash unboxing was helpful for you guys. If it was, please give me a like. And um, if you want more content similar to this, uh, give me a subscribe. Thank you so much. And here's my face. <sighs> what up? Oh my goodness, my room is messy. No!